What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep updated with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos. So let me know your thoughts on today's topics, but without no further ado, let's just jump right into today's news. The first couple of news stories are for Pokemon Go, the first one coming directly from the Pokemon Go in-game news tab. This one reading, the trainer battle savvy and the all new ace trainer and veteran styles. Do you have what it takes to be an ace trainer? How about a true veteran? Let the world know about your trainer battle prowess with brand new avatar items featuring the styles of ace trainers from the Onova and Alolan regions and veterans from the chaos region unlock items for purchase based on your league progress if you have a gold medal in all three trainer battle leagues great ultra and master you'll be able to purchase all related items which include shirts pants and shoes from the style shop stay safe and happy exploring. I think this is pretty cool for players who want another way to showcase their PvP skills. Having to unlock clothing options I'm always a fan of in games because it shows that you will accomplish something before you just pay money or pay in-game currency to have an item. Don't think I'm personally going to try to unlock these to purchase them. I usually save my Poke coins for community days to buy those extra balls and I'm extremely happy for Total Dial, especially with the news that we got today. I guess into that in a second let me know your thoughts on these brand new clothing options are you going to be adding this to your player avatar inside of pokemon go i know that i'm not but i i'm probably gonna unlock these sooner or later by just you know playing around with pvp now the second news story again for Pokemon Go is we finally got the official move for Alligator is going to know when you evolve your Total Dial into for Alligator during Community Day. So it says get a for Alligator with Hydro Cannon. This is mark your calendar for January's Community Day featuring the water type Pokemon Total Dial during the second weekend of January. Check the details below. I'm going to have all the times for the Community day is going to be taking place in the description of this video so you guys can check it out and i'm also going to have it on screen so you guys can check it out it says features total dial will appear more frequently in the wild lore molecules will last three hours for the duration of the event evolve pro car which is the evolve version of total dial during or up to one hour after the event to obtain for alligator that knows the water type move hydro cannon and then bonuses you get 4x incubator effectiveness for the three hour window which is always great for to hatch these eggs especially with a whole bunch of stuff all of the events that's going on right now with so much dope stuff in the eggs and in the hatchathon and stuff like that so that's pretty cool it says we can't wait to see you out there trainers stay safe and happy exploring now again this is a great way to start the year i think last year was incredible as far as the pokemon go community days were lined up and set up we got great pokemon choosing starter Pokemon is a good decision and I think Totodile is one of the if not the best Gen 2 starters and a lot of people are going to be like no Cyndaquil but I, you know Cyndaquil is cool I love Cyndaquil I picked Cyndaquil the first time through Joto, but Totodile is just is just something about Totodile that just has that extra spunk within him let me know your thoughts on this pokemon go community day and if you're excited to see totodile and for alligator with this special move now while we're on the topic of pokemon go the next news story again you probably guessed it is about pokemon go this one coming from eurogamer written by tom phillips a news editor at Eurogamer says Pokemon Go fans collaborate to pin down on missing shiny Pokemon. What shiny Pokemon they're bringing to light, of course, is the elusive Magnemite. Now, ever since Magnemite was introduced, Magnemite has yet to be found outside of the event. 
period. So basically the community is coming together and trying to find out via Discord, via the Slifco, via, you know, Twitter of if anybody officially caught a Magnemite outside of the event and has footage or has, you know, screenshots or whatever. And basically it's MIA right now. No one has come forward with a Magnemite caught in outside of that event date. Now Magnemite is not the only Pokemon that again, no one in the world has actually found, which is again, very rare. Of course, we do know that shiny Pokemon are rare and that does happen to be the case as far as when we're talking about rare creatures inside of games that are being randomly generated. Magnemite and Mysterious is also on the list that again, no one this year anywhere in the world has actually caught. So this is actually what the community is trying to do is like have this spread out so Niantic can respond and double check and see if the switch for Mysterious and Magnemite are actually turned on so we can actually find these Pokemon in the wild because that's what I think is going on is that there's just a bug where the shiny version was released for the event and then that was it. It was turned back off. Not too surprising if it, if it is a bug coming from Niantic. At the same time, I do hope it gets fixed and fixed pretty soon. And the next news story is coming from US Gamer, again, about Pokemon Go. This one is by Nadia Alford. It says, hey, Pokemon Go fans, have you noticed something different about Niantic's Pokemon nabbing app game? Does this seem a little area to you? Wilder, breezier, that is because you should be able to see Pokemon gyms in stops that were previously off the map. The latest Pokemon Go update 131.4 advertises as just some bug fixes, but on the Slith Road subreddit, they are enjoying the extended map range. Just curious to see if anyone else is experiencing the same as the writer from the Reddit explained after installing the new update. Now I can see some gems and stops I never could see before from my house. So I think this is pretty cool, increasing the range of Pokestop and gyms that we can see from our local neighborhood. Me being in an area that I have no gyms and no stops is still going to be blank for me, so it doesn't affect a player like me. But let me know in the comment section below, have you experienced a, you know, increase of vision for your Pokestops and gyms in your neighborhood? So let's jump off of the Pokemon Go news and jump into some juicy rumor territory news for, obviously, Pokemon 2019, aka the Gen 8 Pokemon games. This is coming from, I believe, 4chan. So again, take this whole part with a grain of salt. This is another rumor that's popped up. So let's deep dive, go over everything first, and then pick apart why I think it's fake and get my 100% thoughts from it. It says, new shiny form was planned for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. New region is sort of connected to a previous one. I think about Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Arceus event. New region is bigger than Kanto plus Johto together, 109 new Pokemon, including Meltan, Melmetal, Zeraora. Box legendaries have both another form involved into the story, kind of like Garatina and Platinum. You will hear more from me again. Reveal is next week, not the traditional way. Now, reading this, I get a whole bunch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon vibes. Now, coming from the bottom up, it says reveal next week, not in the traditional way. How was Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon? Pokemon Ultra Moon revealed. It was revealed trailer where it had Pokemon the fighting game Pokemon tournament that was coming to the Nintendo Switch and then at the end of that trailer they showcase Pokemon Ultra Sun in a Pokemon Ultra Moon with the kids opening up the gifts and then it showed the new form on Sogaleo and um, New Lana, whatever the case may be. Again, 100% not a traditional way to reveal a Pokemon game but again these were just like, you know, a plus version to the original Pokemon Sun and Moon games. It says Box Legendaries will both have another form involved into the story like Garatina and Platinum and again like Sogaleo and Lunana in the Pokemon Sun and Moon games. They had new forms. They was tied into the story you know primarily especially with Liddy carrying around the, the Cosmoa inside of the bag throughout the whole game. You know it was part of the storyline. So again it feels like they're kind of talking about Pokemon Ochi Sun and Ochi Moon to me which again smells like a fake if you could smell a fake. It says 109 new Pokemon, including Meltan, Melmetal, Zeraora. Again, kind of hard to believe because Meltan, Melmetal, Zeraora are all going to be in the front of the Pokedex, if that makes any sense, because these guys are Gen 
seven games already revealed already have official Pokemon numbers stamps attached to them so if they are to be in these games uh, obviously if they had a regional Pokedex that could change but it's kind of weird that they're gonna say oh 109 new Pokemon including these guys that we already know like nah these guys are already revealed they're already gen 7 like let's move past that let's know the new Pokemon that are gonna be in the game that are outside the ones we already know it says new region is bigger than Kanto and Johto together now I would hope so Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon again was pretty huge for you know a player like me um obviously running around it again in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon kind of made it feel small because again it was just the same area reused again but in hindsight that was a huge game there was huge islands tons of cities on each island so I'm hoping we get something similar to that if it says it's going to be bigger than Johto and Kanto put together I would hope so it's on the switch they have the horse they have the capability of making this game massive as something as Breath of the Wild as we're talking about cities and you know breathing worlds they could do crazy stuff like we need to see Pokemon step up their game with this 2019 entry it says the new region is sort of connected to the previous one now there is this rumor about this potentially being a UK region connected to the European region or whatever the case may be connecting back to the X and Y games now that could make sense again especially if we think about the timeline that these games were in development for a long time especially if Pokemon Sun and Moon was created by a new director a different team that this one was worked on in the background and then this one became the main focus on the main team while Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was being developed while Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee was being developed and that would have mean that this story quote unquote hadn't been concrete and thought about for a while now hence why we're seeing you know that map in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee that's you know not a map for anything else in the game also while we're seeing people say this may be connected to the you know area in X and Y you know a lot of people are just drawing that conclusion again this person that written this obviously knows that and probably threw it in here because they're gonna be like hey look this guy knows what he's talking about this must be real and I'm you got to convince me with a little bit more for me to label it as something real again it says a new shiny form was planned for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon now we do know a new shiny form has been trademarked by the Pokemon company now that's not to say that they're never gonna use that or to say that they are gonna use it 100% sure they file trademarks for stuff that they know is gonna be in the game that they know is gonna be significant they filed that new trademark for a brand new type of shiny Pokemon a while ago we thought we were gonna see an Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that was not the case we thought we were gonna see it in a let's go Pikachu let's go Eevee again that was not the case and that was obviously for obvious the reasons they have this 2019 game gen 8 game being worked on as the main focus in the background so obviously they probably file that trademark to coincide with these games but again reading this it sounds like someone knew that knew that info was out there and tried to tie it into this kind of rumor and try to call it a leak when again it's just some random person posting on 4chan we don't know who it is we don't have any credible name behind it like you know King Zell or you know Emily Rogers so I would say uh, reading this, I don't believe it. You know, it sounds like they're just connecting the dots kind of like we are, but I did want to go over it because I did see it cause a massive stir to date up on Twitter. So there you go. Now I was going to throw this in as another news story of today, but it has been 20 years since the Pokemon trading card game hit the United States. This was posted up by GameStop. I'm in love with the writer Kelly or Kelly. I forget her name and um, it's kind of funny I'm saying I'm in love with, I'm just in love with her work over there at GameStop when she covers Pokemon stuff it's usually pretty dope she wrote this piece about the creation of Pokemon cards where she I believe went behind the scenes on how the Pokemon cards are created with the art wise and the, the information that is placed on the cards and the move and the play testing and all that stuff did a dope article on it. it is a must read for any Pokemon fan I'm going to have it linked in the description below so you guys can check it out and as we close out the show I'm ending with a deal of the day now this is coming from cheap ass gamer on twitter again if you're not following them you should be they usually post anytime any deal comes up to so they posted this today it says pokemon mew 2 
sculpted mug for $4.99 via GameStop. You can buy it for brand new. It's usually $10. You can get it for $5 off, so it's pretty cool. Putting this because it also has a comic relief. If you look, they spelled Mewtwo wrong, but they did that intentionally because GameStop also has Mewtwo spelled wrong on a website. <laughs> Not surprising there, but let me know if you're going to cop this mug. Again, I'm going to have it linked in the description below. Now, that is going to be it for today's episode of Pokemon News Daily. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below from all the news that we went over today from the Pokemon Go new clothing options that they are adding to the game to the Totodile community day that's happening this weekend. Do not forget Shiny Totodile this weekend for three hours only. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you are hyped like I am for that. Also, let me know your thoughts on this quote unquote rumor that's going around that everyone's talking about on Twitter today. I just wanted to bring it up with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you believe it? Do you do not believe it? Again, I'm 100% on the side that this is not true. But let me know your thoughts either way in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you trainers on the next Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.